The recent injury to Jordan Henderson and Liverpool's very minor slump in form that followed has only re-emphasised how important a player he has become in Jurgen Klopp's side. Henderson's journey to being an integral player in arguably the best team in the world right now is a lesson of discipline, application and self-belief. He was signed age 20, handed the unenviable task of replacing Steven Gerrard in the Liverpool midfield and found out that Sir Alex didn't try to sign him because he had a weird run in 2013. Plenty wrote Henderson off at both club and international level and Brendan Rodgers even tried to convince him to join Fulham in 2012 as part of Liverpool's interest in Clint Dempsey. Henderson dug in his heels though, and he's now made more than 350 appearances for the Reds, captaining the club, on their return to the top of the domestic and European game. The 29-year-old joined Liverpool nine years ago as the first of Kenny Dalglish's summer signings, and he was unveiled alongside Charlie Adam, Stuart Downing, and goalkeeper Donny. Henderson is now the only player from Liverpool's 2011-12 campaign who is still at Anfield, and today we're looking back at the Reds' starting eleven for Henderson's debut, which was a one-all draw against his former club Sunderland. Thanks to Rodrigo Santos who suggested this video, and please do leave your own suggestions in the comments, and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Pepe Reina Aston Villa The 2011-12 season was Pepe Reina's penultimate campaign at Anfield, and throughout his eight years on Merseyside, the Spaniard was an excellent servant to the club. A three-time Premier League Golden Glove winner and one-time Liverpool Player of the Year, Reina made just shy of 400 appearances at Anfield, and he was a rare breed of sweeper-keeper for much of his time in the division. Reina left Liverpool in 2013 to spend a season on loan at Napoli, followed by moves to Bayern Munich, Napoli on a permanent deal, and AC Milan. The 37-year-old is still contracted to AC Milan, but recently returned to the Premier League in a loan move to Aston Villa. John Flanagan Rangers If you'd like to have your mind blown, then let me tell you that John Flanagan is a full England international. The fullback won his first and only cap as a substitute in a friendly game against Ecuador in 2014, a reminder of the high regard he was once held in and also that England haven't always been so blessed at right back. Flanagan only made five Premier League appearances in the 2011-12 season, but he started in Liverpool's opener against Sunderland. The 2013-14 campaign was Flanagan's only season of semi-regular football at Anfield and he left the club in 2018 to link up with Steven Gerrard at Rangers. Now aged 27, Flanagan has struggled to cement a first-team spot in Glasgow and has made just 10 appearances this season. Jamie Carragher Sky Sports Pundit Everyone's second favourite squeaky pundit on Sky Sports' Monday Night Football show, the Neville and Carragher partnership has proved so popular that Sky Sports only gave Cara a slap on the wrist for Fleming on a child and her deeply irritating and irresponsible father on camera. A one-club man, Carragher spent 17 years at Liverpool, racking up a remarkable 737 appearances. That puts him second in the club's all-time appearance charts, sandwiched between Ian Callaghan and Steven Gerrard, and the 2011-12 campaign was also Carragher's penultimate season at Liverpool. Capable of playing as either a centre-back or as a right-back, following almost two decades as Mr. Consistent on Merseyside, Carragher hung up his boots and turned his attention to punditry in 2013. Daniel Iger to two artist and sewage company co-owner. It has now been almost four years since Daniel Carragher retired from football, yet one still suspects he would be a safer option at centre-back than Dejan Lovren. Daniel Agger's departure from Liverpool and retreat initially from the bright lights of the Premier League and later from football for good is a pretty rare and unusual case. I think it would be fair to say that when Agger left Liverpool in 2014, aged 29, he was their best centre-back. Robust and strong in the air, niggling injuries had begun to plague the Danish international, and his decision to join Bromby for a significant pay cut in 2014 reportedly stemmed from his desire to play in a less physically demanding league. The step down was no good, and in 2016, aged 31, he retired from football altogether. Aga moved to Marbella after hanging up his boots, where he is a qualified tattoo artist, in addition to co-owning a sewerage company called Klo Aga along with his brother. Jose Enrique Retired. Jose Enrique is another former Liverpool defender who retired earlier than he would have liked, although there was little intrigue or mystery about the reasons behind Enrique's retirement. The 34 year old, who also retired aged 31, did so having been diagnosed with a rare brain tumour. Thankfully, the tumour was successfully removed and the uncapped Spaniard received the all clear around 11 months ago. Prior to his recent health scare, Enrique spent nine years in the Premier League, split evenly between his time at Newcastle United and his time at Anfield. Although he spent five seasons at Liverpool, Enrique only played regularly in two of them, plagued by a persistent knee injury for much of his time at the club. Lucas Leiva 
Lazio. A fan favourite at Liverpool to this day, Lucas Leiva spent a decade at Anfield and never gave less than 100%. A tough tackling and well-disciplined defence midfielder, Lucas endeared himself to the Anfield faithful and he made just shy of 350 appearances for the six-time European champions. Capped 24 times by Brazil between 2007 and 2013, Lucas's 10-year stay on Merseyside came to an end in 2017 under Jurgen Klopp when he was allowed to join Lazio for just £5 million. He has since registered over 100 appearances for the Italian outfit and had been a regular fixture this season as Lazio trailed Juventus by just one point before the league was suspended. Charlie Adam Reading I mentioned Charlie Adam in the introduction as he was unveiled as a Liverpool player on the same day as Jordan Henderson. Adam arrived having just been relegated with Blackpool but he was widely considered to have been the linchpin in Ian Holloway's entertaining side. The former Rangers midfielder scored the goal which fired Blackpool into the Premier League and then bagged a very impressive 12 league goals in his first season at that level. Alex Ferguson described the Scots' left-footed corners as being worth £10 million alone, but Liverpool got their man for just £6.75 million. Adam lasted just a season at Anfield though, not quite managing to impact games as he had done at Bloomfield Road and he joined Stoke City in 2012 for £4 million. Adam spent seven seasons with the Potters, joining fellow championship side Reading on a free transfer in the summer of 2019. Jordan Henderson, Liverpool. The subject of this video, it won't surprise you to learn that Jordan Henderson is still contracted to Liverpool. Not only is the Englishman contracted to Liverpool, but he captains the Merseyside outfit and has done with distinction over the last couple of seasons. Henderson's intelligent, well-disciplined, no thrill style of play may not get seats off bums, but it gets Liverpool up the table, and he's helped keep them at the top of the Premier League table for virtually the entirety of this season. I took some flack for saying he was among the best midfielders in Europe last season, and I'll probably also take some flack for saying that I don't think he deserves to win the PFA Player of the Year award this season. Henderson has been excellent, and Liverpool are a much improved side with him in the team, but he's currently the second favourite behind Sadio Mane to pick up the award, supposedly given to the best player in the division. And personally, he wouldn't get my vote. Luis Suarez, Barcelona. Chompy frontman Luis Suarez spent just three and a half seasons at Anfield, but he did enough in that time to write himself into the history books, even at one of Europe's most historic clubs. Particularly in Suarez's last two seasons on Merseyside, he was just unstoppable. The 2011-12 campaign was his first full season in the Premier League, and he only actually managed 11 Premier League goals, but the next two would be very different. A tally of 23-33 was followed by 31-33, as Suarez was named Premier League Player of the Season, and that was followed by a big money move to Barcelona in 2014. Over the summer, Suarez earned himself an international ban following a quick nibble on Giorgio Chiellini's arm, but it didn't thwart his form in Catalonia. Suarez has scored a sensational number of goals at the Camp Nou, 191 in 270 games to be specific, and he firmly belongs to that bracket of elite footballers over the last decade, just below the levels of Messi and Ronaldo. Stuart Downing, Blackburn Rovers From Luis Suarez to Stuart Downing, we have one of Liverpool's greatest ever signings, and a man unfortunate never to have won the Ballon d'Or, and Luis Suarez. Downing arrived at Anfield in 2011 along with Henderson and Adam as the natural next step in his impressive career trajectory. The transfer set Liverpool back a reported £20 million and Aston Villa turned a quick profit on the Englishman, having signed him for £10 million two years earlier. Capped 35 times by England, things just never quite clicked for Downing at Anfield, despite the fact that he had played regular football for two seasons. He left after 91 appearances for West Ham, where he had two very good seasons playing more centrally, even earning an England recall. A return to Middlesbrough seemed premature, but Downing did so in 2015, helping the team win promotion to the Premier League in his debut campaign. Dreams of ending his career with his boyhood club were dashed in the summer of 2019, as Downing was released by Borough, and the 35-year-old is now an important player for Tony Mowbray at Blackburn Rovers. Andy Carroll, Newcastle United Another player from the North East who returned to their boyhood club following a spell with Liverpool, Andy Carroll was signed by Kenny Dalglish in January 2011, along with Luis Suarez. In one fell swoop, it could be argued, Dalglish had pulled off one of the best and one of the worst transfers in the history of the English game. Suarez became a superstar, meanwhile the more expensive man, Carroll, who had set the Reds back £35 million no less, didn't seem to possess the same magic in his boots. Formidable in the air and capable of scoring goals, Carroll didn't seem to suit Liverpool's style of play, and he was allowed to join West Ham on loan following 18 months at Anfield. 
He made that move a permanent one the following summer and arguably ended up being a worse signing for West Ham than he was for Liverpool. He scored 34 goals in 142 games over the course of seven injury plague seasons in London before returning to Newcastle United last summer and taking his injury struggles with him. So that was the starting 11 for Jordan Henderson's Liverpool debut. Of the seven substitutes named by Kenny Dalglish, only two were introduced during the game, namely Raul Morelish and Dirk Coit, both of whom have since retired from professional football. Of the substitutes who weren't introduced, Jay Spearing now plays for Blackpool, Davin Gog is currently plying his trade in Lithuania, and fullback Jack Robinson is now back in the Premier League following a January transfer to European hopefuls Sheffield United. That's it for today's video, thank you all for tuning in, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did so feel free to leave a like, and also make sure you are subscribed to the one and only HITC7s.